with modern 3D printers exceeding all expectations and actually working most of the time, we no longer live in an age where to have a 3D printer means spending twice as long fixing and maintaining it than actually using it. But whilst these are significantly less needy than their predecessors, they still do require some regular maintenance to keep them printing happily. One of the most common of those is cleaning and relubricating the Z-axis lead screws. That can be a slightly frustrating and awkward job, but luckily I've got a little trick which can make it much quicker and easier, so let's take a look. On 3D printers, the Z-axis lead screws are the threaded vertical rod or rods which provide its Z-axis movement. With Cartesian printers, a category which bed slingers fit into, this is the threaded rod or rods which the x-axis and nozzle move up and down on. And with Core XY printers, it's the three to four rods which the bed moves up and down on. These arrive nicely lubed up with your new printer to allow for fluid motion over them. But over time, dust, flecks of filament and general grime can get caught up in the lube and if not managed sufficiently, can begin to lead to issues of inaccuracy which ultimately could ruin your prints. Many modern printers, such as those from Bamboo Lab, will routinely remind you to clean your lead screws and this involves two stages. First, you need to carefully clean the lead screws, and once you've got all the gunk off of them, you then need to reapply the new lubricant. There's several different ways that you can clean off the lead screws. Everything from wiping them down manually with paper towel, to printing devices that you then attach to your print bed, and when stuffed with paper towel or sponge, will clean the screws as you move the bed up and down. However, I've personally found that the printed options I've tried have rarely seemed to do a particularly good job at cleaning the lead screws. And not only can the paper towel method sometimes leave small particles or even little chunks of paper towel on the lead screws, in some printers it can be particularly difficult to actually access some areas of the lead screws in shrouded or contained areas. But there is a simple solution. I learned of this method a while back and it makes cleaning the lead screws really quick, really easy, and it does a better job than any other method I've tried. Gear floss, here intended for use when cleaning the gears and sprockets on a bike, is effectively long puffy shoelaces, but made of a very soft, strong and absorbent material, which due to its puffy texture, molds into any small crevices it's pressed against. I'll show you now how transformational this floss can be on making this maintenance task so quick and easy, and I'll pop a link to this in the video description. So, when it's time to clean your lead screws, take one of these and wrap it around the lead screw twice. Then, holding each end of the floss, work it back and forward in your hands. It'll run up and down the lead screw. Now it's important you're not pulling on the lead screw. You don't want to bend it as this would severely damage your printer. You want to apply just enough force to the floss itself to slide up and down the lead screw while moving your hands backwards and forwards, but not applying force to the rod itself. You just need to be gentle and it will slide up and down like this. You can see the floss is picking up the old lube really well, and the screw is looking clean where it's already run over it. So in no time, the entire screw will be clean and ready for re-lubing. This method also makes it really easy to clean lead screws, which are partially or almost entirely shrouded by housing. But in these cases, you may find it helpful to use a pair of curved tweezers to pass the floss around the lead screw when wrapping it before cleaning. You should be fine using the same floss for all of the lead screws in your printer. And to be honest, depending on how dirty they are, you might be able to reuse that same floss for two or three entire cleans. But this box costs £11 and contains 20 of them. So at 55p each, if you were to clean the lead screws in your printer every two months, it would only cost you £3.30 a year per printer, and that's if you used one per session. Once you've cleaned all of your Z-axis lead screws, it's important to then reapply the lube. Don't clean them and then run a print before you've re-lubed them. So make sure that you have the lubricant that you need before you start cleaning. Many 3D printers come with a single-use sachet of lubricant grease for the first time you do this, but after you've used that, you're going to need to buy some more. You can usually go to the manufacturer website and buy more of these, but many makers, myself included, opt to get a tube of super lube, which I'll pop a link to in the description below. This works really well, is much easier to apply than from a sachet, and is going to work out a lot cheaper in the long run. Re-greasing the lead screws can be a more straightforward task. 
Again, there are tons of designs that you can print to semi-automate this process, but I've never found them to work especially well. I'd recommend one of two methods. Either apply it manually directly to the rods, which is your best option if you're using one of these sachets, or there's a printable attachment that screws directly onto the Superlube tube. These are available in different sizes for different size lead screws. To apply it, simply move the bed all the way to the top or bottom, then apply a small amount to the full length of the screws. Then move the bed all the way to the other end, twice. And then if it looks like it needs more, reapply and repeat. Once that's done, if there's any grease clumping up at either end of the Z screws, clean it off with a floss or cloth, and then you're done. Well, that was a quick and easy tip to make one of the few regular maintenance tasks you need to do on your printers that little bit quicker and that little bit easier. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, please do hit that like button. It makes a big difference to me. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss my future tips and tutorials. If you've got a maintenance tip that you'd like to share with your maker buddies, why not pop them in the comments below? I'll pop a link in the description below to the gear floss, the super lube, and also the printable super lube cap. You can hit the join button below any of my videos to become a channel member, getting early access to my videos, some exclusive content, and a perpetual members discount at 3drevolutionstore.com. Either way, and as always, thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing. If you've enjoyed learning about lube, why not check on my tutorial on how to screw with 3D printing? Or check on one of my other videos to learn something new or have some fun. As always, a huge thank you to my channel members for your support, and a thank you to all of you for watching. Thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing.